hey guys welcome back to my new video tutorial in this particular video i'm just going to tell you how you will integrate the firebase in your android application and start implementing the project with the help of the firebase so create a particular project this one is my project where i'm going to integrate the firebase sdk uh, open your particular manifest file and just copy this particular your package name so this is what my package name this one is my package name i am just copy this particular package name now go to the firebase console over here in this particular console if you does not have any project then you will see the none of the projects will be there i have integrated a few projects before this one so these are the projects so click on the create a new project over here give your project a particular name that is what let's say i am giving my project name is the firebase and integration so this one is the project because i am going to make uh, it is a little more easy so that is the reason why i am integrating this in that one select your particular country that is what the india and create a particular new project so wait for the few seconds while the firebase console will handle the task to create your project so this one is the dashboard for your particular project you can go to the any project by clicking on this one see all projects create a new project import the google project or you can directly switch to your different projects from over here now we are going to implementing these things in the android application so add the firebase to your android app you can also add the firebase to your iphone or you can add it to the web application so we can click on the android application here we have to paste the package name so what i will do i will just click on the paste control v so it will paste my package name over here it requires also the debug signing certificate as such one certificate you can see my another video where i have also tell that how you can generate your SHA31 certificate for your project but this one this thing is the optional so I will keep it optional and click on the add application so now it will tell you to download this particular google service dot json file so this one is that particular json file what I will do I will directly copy that particular file in my project so here is my project in the app folder I am going to just download this particular file that is what the google services dot json file wait for the few minutes and see the file will be downloaded over there yeah the file is there go to your project change your particular view of the project explorer let's say i am changing it to the project view selecting the project view checking into the app yeah that's it the file is there so this is what the google service.json file that i have downloaded from the firebase console now click on the continue add to the build.gradle so this one is the configuration steps that you have to do so in the project level build.gradle file we have to add this particular line that is what the class path of the google services so open your project open the app label build.gradle file that is what the app label build.gradle file add this particular line just paste it over here that is what the google services 3.0.0 the next thing that it will tell you that uh, in the app level build.gradle file we have to add this particular line at the end of the file at the bottom of the file we have to add this so in my app level build.gradle file at the end of the line i will add this particular so what it will do we have set the class path of this particular library that is what the google services for our root directory and in the application build.gradle file we have apply that particular plugin to use make 
of this particular Google services. Now just synchronize your particular reader files. Wait for the few seconds or it will take the minute or half of the minute to synchronize your particular project. Till that, just open the Firebase console. Here finally please the synchronize now that is what we have already done and click on the finish. So here it is the Firebase and integration mobile application. Here is the Android part is there. Explore the Firebase analytics to access for the 30 days. This is what the analytics that the Firebase will show you. So you can also add the similar app like the iPhone and the web also but it requires some more other configuration and if you want to go to check the different things that is what the firebase also include the analytics authentication database the storage hosting and the remote configuration the test lab will be there the crash reporting notification will be there dynamic links and add more add more people add more is also the part of the firebase now so here are the different things that you can get started after integrating your particular project with the help of the firebase console so this is what we have just integrated the firebase into our particular android project so now onwards you can add any of the particular file in this particular root directory so let me just quickly revise the particular steps that i have already written over here so first of all you have to create a particular firebase console project with a particular name you can also import your google projects in that one click the add firebase to your android application and follow the setup uh, by giving the package name then it will pop up the window to download the google service.json file it will give you the specific location that where you have to put this particular file in the projects app module folder then you have to modify the root level and the application level build.gradle file with the this particular respective following two lines and in the app level build.gradle file you can include any of this particular dependency whatever your project is required to be configured so these are the different particular dependencies that you can add in this particular section the app level dependency section you can include any of this particular dependency as per your requirement so this is the different list of the dependencies for the analytics real-time database storage crash reporting authentication cloud messaging report remote configuration invites dynamic links add more and app indexing so these are the different dependency line that you can include over there let's say i am integrating the ads over here so how it will be just copy and paste this thing and keep it in the, the compile section so this is what just click on the synchronize now so it will start synchronizing your project with the help of that one so now onwards you can add the firebase ads in your particular android project so this is what how you can include the firebase sdk in your android application one important thing is that that you have to make sure this particular version of the firebase is matched with the other versions of the other Google services so that is what the requirement for that one so thanks for watching this video and please subscribe to my subscribe to our channel for the next video tutorials and yeah we have also developed the other other video tutorials for the firebase so you can check out those things and please don't forget to hit on the subscribe button thank you very much